but I just like that too. Alright, let's do this. Alright, spawning in the top left hand corner we have our Russian player in the... Well, I already said that. Top left hand corner, it is Klaas in the dark blue. And a well known player that has not played in all of the tournaments so far, the red German player, it is Aaron Lloyd. Alright, so we're going to be playing on a very familiar map, Overlord. And it's going to be Russia versus Germany. So we're going to be seeing an asymmetrical battle here from two different factions. And we're going to be seeing who comes up on top in this best of three in the semifinals. Looks like Klaas does know the map pretty well right now. He's spreading out his He's spreading out his buildings really well right now. He knows that there's ore on the bottom left and the top right. And he's going to be able to extend as far as possible to get to those two areas without needing to build any further buildings. So that is likely the case that he's going to go for. No, nope, he's going to go for an early war factory as well as Aaron. Aaron's going to do the same thing. I was expecting him to go for a double ore refinery. But that is okay too. Looks like they're going to say good luck, have fun. And we've seen a lot of good games on this map. And some very elusive attacks as well. You can definitely ambush in two different directions, maybe even three, from the middle, left, and right hand side without having any defenses in the way because expenses. Uh, defenses are expensive on a low eco map such as this where there are no oil derricks or any additional income other than the ore refineries themselves so we're going to be seeing whether or not we're going to see any of those ambushes today on this map both war factories coming out right now if you look back at the production tab we see some ore trucks in production as well as both players going for the second ore refinery now. Looks like Aaron Lloyd's going to be opting for the light tank block yet again, but we do see a flame tower in completion right now for Klaas, so that's not going to be too much of a problem, as well as that ore refinery just about to come out in due time. But Klaas does see this. Is he going to stop his ore truck? does not seem like he's going to be doing that, so the light tank is going to be able to get into that ore refinery without any problem as well as actually the flame tower does get cancelled so that he can actually save money but that was actually a pretty big issue there it's all things considered as that light tank is really proving a big problem here light tank is going to try and get away now that he knows that he has been successfully able to lock that ore refinery for a good amount of time but the rocket soldiers are out now so he's going to be able to protect his bottom left or refinery right now but uh, will Aaron prolong the life of this light tank or will he continue to block this war factory which is, doesn't seem like too good of an idea considering that light tanks can be focus fired when they're right next to the war factory but does Klaus know that? Yes he does he is going to be focusing on that war factory right now or, or truck has been delayed for a few seconds but not too much so that Klaus can get back to work alright we do see an even amount of ore trucks in the field right now but this flak truck does get taken out that was actually a big issue right there and uh, looks like Klaus is going to be moving one of his ore trucks to the right hand side alright both service depots are up for both players being a pretty identical build for an asymmetrical battle here interestingly enough but it does seem Aaron's going to be opting for a heavy tank or medium tank build so he's probably going to try and rush the left hand side of Klaus's base pretty early in the game and that could prove to be quite effective considering there's no defenses up right now as in Klaus is going for an attack himself but Aaron does have defenses being prepped up right now whereas Klaus does not have anything at all Considering the Tesla Coil costs so much money, he's not going to be able to get it out in time, as well as that MCV costing a pretty significant amount of money. 
and he has committed himself to expanding super early, but at the same time, Aaron has done the same exact thing. So I think Klaus is in a bit of a bad position right now, but he does not know that, and Aaron's just going to go straight ahead and take care of this ore refinery right here. But that is kind of cancelled out because there is another ore refinery for class at the expansion. He did manage to take out another ore truck though. That was really good. He might maybe be able to take out two actually. Really good takeout for class right there. I think he really evened up the odds for the uh, army numbers here. But if we do look at the economy tab, the assets are slightly in favor of class, surprisingly enough. Despite the fact there is more army out for class right now. But he did lose two ore trucks, so that's going to really pay the price for Aaron's economy right now. He's not going to be able to produce that many units in the late game. Maybe even in the mid game, considering we haven't really spent too much time so far. Now we do see a rogue medium tank getting hit, taking hits here from this rocket soldier. Best of 